Hey there, I'm Greg with Sonics, and today we're going to be talking about 68 RFE overdrive clutch burnup and squawk issues. This is a widespread issue that affects all manner of these vehicles, especially those that are modified or towing heavy loads. Stock type applications suffer from insufficient clutch capacity and exceptionally fragile thin OE clutches, and rebuilt units can deal with squawk issues due to programming and aggressive aftermarket clutches. So here at Sonex, we dug into all these issues to come up with solutions to all the problems and provide a kit that has exceptional value, and that is the SmartTech Overdrive Clutch Housing Kit. So as far as I'm concerned, there's three main pillars that affect overdrive clutch durability. Number one is a valve body and solenoid pack that are leak-free and tight and don't present any problems. Number two is programming that's as close to the stock programming as possible. And then number three is an improved overdrive clutch pack. And the problem with the overdrive clutches is the exceptionally thin single-sided clutches where the steel cores are just 34 thousandths of an inch thick. It's way too thin to absorb the amount of heat that takes place in a heavy working vehicle like this when it shifts into fourth gear. And the, the problem with these thin steel cores is if you put just a little bit of heat into them and a little bit of torque, these clutches will buckle and distort and take up all the necessary clearance that's required to keep the clutch uh, free and cool when the clutch is released. And this is an example of a clutch pack that is distorted like that. And once that happens, it's gonna die. And typically by the time it ends up on a rebuilder's bench, the clutch is completely smoked and then flattened back out again. Like I said, this one's at the early stages of failure and it demonstrates the problem with the thin single-sided clutches. So what's required is conventional double-sided clutches, but the problem is they just won't fit in a stock type housing. So what we've come up with is the SmartTech housing with its unique bolt-on plate. Between the bolt-on feature and eliminating the snap rings, we've built in about 3 16 inch or five millimeters of additional clutch height capacity without resorting to machining down the clutch plates which can potentially make them thinner and introduce more flex into the system, which isn't going to help durability. Now the bolt-on plate is held in place by the flange head screws. Uh, the flange head screws have lots of clamping force against the plate, so they'll stay nice and secure, and optimal thread length so the Loctite can adhere and do its job, so they're gonna stay tight and everything will stay secure for the long haul. Now the clutches used in this application make a huge difference in performance and we wanted to make sure this kit included the absolute best clutches available, period. So the 68 RFE, like other rear wheel drive six speed applications, has this really annoying tendency to squawk on the 3-4 shift. So we're after a double sided friction with great squawk resistance and we knew that there were some clutches out there that didn't squawk but the problem was they were never intended for a critical shifting application like this, and they didn't have the clutch capacity we're after for maximum durability. So we set about testing all the heavy duty clutches that are available, and in the end, we settled on this great custom Borg Warner uh, double-sided friction with plain steels. Now this gave us a combination of state-of-the-art squawk resistance and that critical maximum clutch capacity we're after, for a 20% improvement over the OE clutch. Now, this unique clutch pack intended just for the Sonex housing is optimized for clearance as well, so when you stack it up, you get nice clearance, and overall, the whole system is just the win-win that everybody's been after. Now, the steel plates are twice as thick as the steel cores on the single-sided clutches, and that increase in thickness ends up contributing to the 37% increase in steel mass in the Sonex clutch pack, and then that increase in steel mass helps dissipate the heat during the shift and prevent the uh, glazing and burning of the clutch and really protects the clutch over the long haul. So in addition to the clutches, we wanted to further improve the capacity of the overdrive system. And we did that by increasing the piston apply area by 16%. So this is a stock overdrive clutch housing. And down inside here is where the lip seal lives for the overdrive piston. And with the Sonics housing, we made that lip seal diameter larger, okay? And that works with this corresponding uh, expander sleeve, which presses on to the OE inner retainer. So you simply press this piece on there, and we have a staking tool to stake it in place, and that increases the piston apply area by 16%. Now that works in conjunction with the SmartTech housing, and 
what it does is it gives you both an increase in clutch holding capacity, but really more significantly, it gives you that significant increase in clutch engaging capacity, which really helps the clutches hold under load. So the Sonex Smart Tech housing has been a real game changer for the 68 RFE transmissions. And like all Sonex products, we want to continually make refinements and we're dedicated to making sure that this kit gives us the 68 RFE overdrive the maximum durability in the most demanding applications. The kit is easy to install. There's a couple of small nuances that are different than an OE setup, but that's all covered in our instructions. And if you have any questions, just reach out to our tech support team. They'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions about this system or any of our other great 68 RFE upgrades, just check it out at our website at sonics.com. And I really appreciate your time watching today.